I don't have to be a devotee to say that Swami praying that please do things for me, please do that for me and all that. For me more than praying, I think I'm more comfortable like talking to him as a friend. I can just go confide in him. I can just shout at him and I'm done with it. So I think that's the way I think Swami has made me feel like a welcoming daughter-in-law as a welcoming friend. Pranams to the lotus feet of my beloved Bhagavan, Sai Ram to everybody. I am hereby come to share my experiences with me and my Swami. But before that, I would like to share my experiences with my father-in-law who is also my father-in-law and me being the daughter-in-law. See, there was a time when I got married and came into the fold of the family that I got married into. See, in those days, we were not allowed to sit and have food with the elders of the family. We are supposed to serve them and then we should have our food. But my father-in-law, being a gentleman and I mean, I have no words to give him more than that. So he said, Shubha, come and sit with me. We'll all have food together, which made me feel really welcome into the family and made me belonging, made me belong to the family as a newly married, maybe in a day or yeah, the second day or the third day of the marriage. So he made me feel as a part of the family, which was like, uh, I don't know what to say. It still brings tears to my eyes when I think of that episode. The same way when my husband had a fall in 2015 and Appa was on insulin, he was insulin dependent and I was the one who can give him food in the night. When I told him Appa, uh, my husband has had a fall, he immediately told me, Ma, take the keys, the cupboard keys which he doesn't give it to anybody and then he said, take whatever money you want and he said, don't worry about me, I'm capable of taking care of myself. I will do, don't worry about the insulin, I will ask somebody to do it, but your work is you go and take care of your husband. And he said, whatever money you want, you take. So the, immediately I told him, Appa, if not for you, whom will I go and ask for the money? So when I need it, you better have it and you give it to me. So that was the way I actually interact with my Appa. So these two instances has really made this is I mean, a small one or two instances which made me feel very very comfortable and the day that we came from the hospital after the head injury everybody was asking Sukumar whether he has had food they were feeding him the entire family of his sisters whereas my father called me inside and he said did you have food I know you wouldn't have had food you first go inside and have your food this because I was actually feeling hungry but I was thinking more of my husband and other people in the family whereas one person who could think about my hunger and everything late night around 1 o'clock after we came from the hospital maybe 12.30 between 12.30 and 1 like it made me feel so welcome I just touched his feet and went and had my food that was how it was like for me with my father-in-law so I started missing him after he left the mortal body then the corona came where they had a complete lockdown. My brother-in-law and uh, co-sister said they are planning to move to Puttaparthi. Then my husband felt that why don't we also move to Puttaparthi? Then I was just stunned and shocked because I have been wanting to go settle in Chennai and Kanchivaram which was my father-in-law's favorite place and his favorite deity Varadaraja Pirumal. So my thoughts were always going and settling down there and then going to the temple, attending all the utsavams that he did. 
I loved enjoy doing all that and but then when my husband said no ma it is better we go to puttaparthi i would feel more comfortable then i had i said okay i left it to swami i said okay i don't know why you are asking me to come to puttaparthi but if my husband wishes i come with him that's the only thing i told swami and i said i leave it i left it at that i didn't even think about it so we went with that but the best part is we came in april to set the house we had already seen the house in february and then we saw the how we came to start settling the house in april peak time of corona and i don't know how but swami made it so comfortable for us that when our uh, brahaspati said that uh, there is only one day where you can go and do the instead of the grah pravesham at least light the lamp and then stay there for the night otherwise you don't have any other days to go in so we were a little bit concerned so i just went and told swami this is what he is saying that's it and i left it i just go tell swami this is what it is i don't expect anything else from him so when that had happened i don't know how it happened suddenly out of the blue one company from chennai were able to give us the doors they brought it and then fixed it for us and one company from bangalore they came and did all the windows for us and it was still it is still a surprise how that can be happened that could have happened during the complete lockdown period we are still not able to come to terms with it but it had happened and so on that uh, one day which our uh, brahaspati told us we could go had the uh, pal catch up like we say and then we slept there that night everything was very peaceful and all that and then we decided to move in in august so when we came down in august again i told uh, swami okay you are calling me to put up arti but i want i don't know anybody in party other than this two or three family relatives and uh, i want to give like you know haldi kumkum on auspicious day which is a varlakshmi pratham day very auspicious and apparently that was the day we had moved in the goods were coming on that day which didn't strike me that that was a friday and varlakshmi pratham and when the goods were still moving into the house i got four or five of our family members for the haldi kumkum and i didn't even know from where i had kept the haldi kumkum to give them like uh, welcoming them to the home and then giving them the haldi kumkum i was just i myself was just very much surprised how i could get everything out of the blue and then give it to them it made me feel very very warm and very welcome that somewhere i felt nice about having touch puttaparthi that was the day i felt happy to have touched puttaparthi because before that and all i was not very comfortable coming to parthi the parthi was not in my agenda or in my life thoughts also and then the next thing that had happened was when i had uh, feeling very low after coming and settling down in uh, our apartment i was thinking i don't have any friends of my own so i just went to swami photos and i said hello i am feeling very bored here i don't have anybody here what are you trying to do in doing to me and then i left it and <laughs> like a real loving father the next day our one of our uh, people in the second floor of her flat she came with her son who's a special child and she rang the bell so i was so surprised somebody coming and ringing the bell so she said i am staying in the second floor why don't you come tomorrow my son's birthday i will introduce you to another uh, person who has moved in here i just couldn't believe that previous day evening i had told swami what is this and next day this is happening in the night so it made me feel i don't know what to say but it made me feel very nice by his grace and making me feel that okay i have brought this girl uprooted her from her comfort zone to my place so i have to make her feel very very comfortable that she should feel happy to have come here as a daughter in law and as a good friend so more than a daughter in law and a good friend can he has made me understand that a daughter in law and a good friend can both gel together with him i don't have to be a devotee to say that swami praying that please do things for me please do that for me and all that for me more than praying i think i'm more comfortable like talking to him as a friend i can just go confide in him i can just shout at him and i'm done with it so i think that's why i think swami has made me feel like a welcoming daughter in law 
as a welcoming friend there was once one more episode that there was an acid bottle which fell from the shelf down and it had splattered on my face completely but my sari got torn with the acid there were dots and everything but my face was zero acid on my face i don't know what to say it is still a miracle but he has made me feel saying that nothing will happen to you you are my this thing you are my dog i will make you feel very comfortable and not a scratch also will not come into your body like how the daughter has been taken care completely